How's it going everyone? Today we're doing another Baku tutorial. Today we are going to teach you how to bleed your brakes. Let's get to it. We're going to start on the front brake, but just remember that the process of bleeding your brakes for the front and rear are exactly the same. First, we're going to remove the brake caliper. And the brake caliper is right next to the rotor. To remove the brake caliper, you're going to use a five millimeter Allen key. The Allen bolts are located on the top and bottom of the brake caliper. Next, you're going to remove your brake pads. First, you're going to get a three millimeter Allen key to remove the set screw that is on the brake pads. Just remember that on the back of the set screw, there is a silver clip that you will need to remove so you can fully remove the set screw. With the set screw removed, now you can pull out the brake pads. Next, you're gonna grab your bleed kit. This right here is the Jaguar Mineral Oil Bleed Kit. When you're going to buy one, you can buy one at your nearest bike shop or on Amazon. Just remember that it has to be a mineral oil bleed kit. So once you open up your bleed kit for mineral oil, you can see right here that you have your two syringes, your valve closers and openers, you have your brake spacers, and then also adapters for your braking system. First, you're going to take one of the syringes and you're gonna hook up one of the valves. So it'll look like that. Then you're gonna get the other one and do the exact same thing. Right here is your mineral oil. We use a brand called Maxima. Um, just make sure that when you're putting it into your brakes, it is mineral oil. Next, you're gonna grab one of the syringes, open up your mineral oil. You're gonna put the syringe inside of the bottle and you're going to start sucking out some of the mineral oil. You wanna make sure that you have a good amount because inside of the brake line, there's a decent amount of mineral oil. So I usually fill it up almost towards the top. Now with one of the syringes filled, make sure that you shut the valve so you don't accidentally screw out any brake oil that is inside of this. Now with pretty much everything prepped, you're ready to start working on your brakes. Next, you are going to get a brake spacer so that your calipers don't fall out of the brake system. You are going to use the brake set screw to make sure that that spacer stays in place. Now we're working on the front brake. Just make sure that your left lever is level. We don't want any of the brake fluid leaking out of the lever. Now we're going to remove a screw that is on the left side of your bike on the brake handle that you are working on. If you look at the throttle, it is barely to the right. Now use a number 15 Torx bit to remove the screw. Now in your bleed kit, there's a couple of adapters that you can try out to make sure that they fit into your bleeding reservoir. Once you figure out what adapter fits into that, you can attach the syringe to that adapter. Now moving to the front caliper, you're going to do the exact same thing using a number 15 Torx bit to remove the screw that is located towards the top of the line. Now you're gonna make sure that you use the right adapter so that it can go into the brake caliper. With the right adapter on, you're going to screw on the syringe. Now you're going to open the valves on both of your syringes. With both of the valves open, you're going to now push down on the plunger of the top syringe that is located on the handlebars. The purpose of pushing down on the plunger is to make sure that there's no air bubbles inside of your brake system. This will get rid of the softness that is inside of your brake handles. Once you see that there are no air bubbles in your braking system, you're going to shut both valves on your syringes. If you don't shut the valve that's on the top syringe, all of your brake fluid is going to run out of the bottom of your braking system. So make sure it's shut. Now remove the syringe with the adapter and quickly replace the screw that was taken out previously.
Now you can go to the top syringe and replace that with the screw that was removed previously. Now test the brakes to make sure that they're responding the way that you want them to. Uh, and that is it. You are ready to hit the trails. Make sure that you follow all of our social media platforms and we'll see you guys on the next video. Thank you.